Welcome to my channel. Today we will see class 10 NCRT chapter number 2 polynomials geometrical meaning of zeros of polynomial. So zeros of polynomial based on that we are going to see. First I am going to take as a linear polynomial. First I am taking in linear polynomial. Linear polynomial. Okay. So linear polynomial in the sense of degree 1 we have. That's given degree 1 okay so example uh, we know uh, what is that uh, suppose i'm taking 7x plus 1 like this anything you can take or uh, just 5x also you can take so general form general form simply we are taking what is that uh, ax plus b ax plus b we have to write ax plus b so when you are writing in the polynomial which is equal to p of x we are taking this is equal to p of x or else the p of x we are taking as a y okay even this also equal to y like this this also equal to y if we need to draw a, uh, what is that a graph in the sense we need a two variable that is x and y because we have two axes x axis one another one y axis okay now see <coughs> suppose we have a graph like this so this is my x-axis I'm taking and this is my y-axis and here origin here 1 2 3 it will go like this it is minus 1 minus 2 it will go plus 1 plus 2 it will go and minus 1 minus 2 it will go okay now this things I'm taking as a graph here suppose I'm taking simply y equal to the first example 7x plus 1 I'm taking in the sense we need to draw the graph what is that first table I'm right for drawing graph we need a table so x any value you can give and y value okay y in the sense 7x plus 1 simply I'm giving some value 0 1 2 I'm giving x if you give 0 fully 0 the remaining 1 only x I'm giving 1 in the sense 1 1 into 7 7 7 plus 1 8 Suppose x I am giving a 2 in the sense, what, what I am getting a, a 2 7s of 14, 14 plus 1, 15 I will get. If you plot this point, what you will get it, see, 0, comma, actually how you will write the points, zero, x value first, y value next. So 0, comma, 1, okay. Next 1, comma, 8. Next 2, comma, 15. This points we need to plot in the graph. Okay, 0, 1, x value 0 and y value 1 in the sense, this is our point. So, 1, 8, 1 in the sense, 8 somewhere you will, you have, you may have. 2, 2, 15 now, it will be like this. Okay, now we have to join. So, what we are getting actually, one straight line we are getting. So, this is equal to 7x plus 1. Okay, this is equal to 7x plus 1. So, if you have a degree 1 in the sense, we are getting straight line. We are getting a straight line. So, uh, this linear equation we are representing in the graph as a straight line. Okay, next I am going. Next topic, what is that? Quadratic linear. Quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial so I'm taking this one quadratic polynomial okay now here a uh, degree we knows degree we knows 2 okay so example I begin simply so what is that a uh, 2x square plus x plus 1 or else uh, just x square also you can take simply so the general form Okay, the general form, general form now, what is that, a x square plus b x plus c, plus c. Okay, this is equal to p of x, I told you the p of x equal to y. If you need to go for a graphical way, in the sense, means the geometrical way or graphical way in the sense, so, it you may get two types of curve, one upward, upward curve like this another one downward curve okay upward curve now this coefficient of x square that is a value must be greater than zero okay like this coefficient of x square that a value here you will get less than zero when you will get it upward 
the curve should be upward in the sense like this and downward in the sense downward in the sense like a less than 0 upward na a greater than 0 this two type only we have in the 10th standard based on this only we will see the graph okay next uh, cubical polynomial before going the cubical uh, this is very very important based on this upward downward they may ask one mark also here uh, they will ask uh, uh, what is the signs of a b c that they will ask that's very very important here i'm going to explain this just listen okay okay first uh, i'm taking one example simply taking my, i mean i'm what is that one one graph i'm taking like this any type of graph you can take this is upward graph i'm taking and this side one downward graph i'm taking like this any any quadrant you can use i'm going to use this quadrant suppose okay now we have a two example actually so if you extend this uh, what is that curve this curve now it will go it will go like this it will go like this definitely it will intersect in one point of the y-axis like this this also if we extend and this also will intersect in the what is that y-axis okay so I told you a x square plus b x plus c is the quadratic curve means this is the y here okay my dear here c in the sense y intercept y intercept okay y intercept where the curve intersecting in the y axis that is the y intercept i'm telling okay now we need to find a signs signs of a, okay find signs of a b c suppose that is our question they given uh, they will give only the graph like this they will give some diagram and they will ask the question find the signs of a b c like this here also they will give like this graph find the signs of a b c like this they will ask and here they will mention this is equal to a x square plus b x plus c if you have downward or upward curve now definitely it is a quadratic equation okay and this also they will mention here this is a x square plus b x plus c that's very very important one mark so that listen carefully what i'm telling okay now so here we have the vertex some vertex this is the standard uh, form actually minus b by 2a this is the one of the standard like it was minus uh, d by what is that 4a sir this is first quotient sir why you are giving both are negative like it was don't consider this is the general form of the vertex of the parabola this is upward parabola this is downward parabola okay like same same vertex only here also here also for the vertex minus b by 2a and minus d by what is that 4a this is the vertex general form uh, how we are getting these things we will see in the higher classes like 11 12 you will see where d sir here we have a b c sir so that a b we are giving what is the d sir caps d in the sense what caps d in the sense uh, b square minus 4ac uh, we will uh, this is like a discriminant they will call d in the sense uh, discriminant they will describe uh, uh, by using this whether it is um, uh, what type of uh, uh, zeros you will get like that they will describe we will see in the third chapter that is okay now we have here this as a vertex by using only we are going to find the signs of uh, abc now listen first i will complete this question okay and this is the second one now listen my dear in this first one uh, what is the what is the uh, curve it is downward or upward it is downward first downward it is downward downward so that a less than zero downward in the sense that first one i'm giving raja here see the graph is downward so that definitely a less than zero okay a less than zero and uh, the curve intersecting in the y axis above the x above the x axis now this is positive direction and below the x axis is the negative direction 
this is above the x axis so this is what y intercept i set see c in the sense y intersect the curve intersecting in the y axis where above the x axis or below the x axis above the x axis so c less than 0 okay c sorry c what is that greater than 0 this above the x axis na greater than 0 c greater than 0 now we have another one b a we got it c we got it what is the b okay so a how we'll find upward or downward downward in the sense less than zero so that less than zero i given c how we'll find the curve intersecting where above the x or below the x above the x na positive below the x na negative the curve intersecting above the x so that i given here greater than zero now we have to go b b where we have in the vertex we have here minus b by 2a that's i'm going to use okay now the step minus b by 2a okay now the curve we have in a second quadrant one two this is the second quadrant so the second quadrant what is the value of x x sign is what actually negative and y value positive this is negative and this is positive in the second quadrant and first quadrant both are positive okay and third quadrant both are negative and fourth plus comma minus so this we know and here in the second quadrant x value is negative y value is a positive so x value only i'm going to use so that minus b by 2a we have na so this is negative negative in the sense less than zero why i'm giving here less than zero i understand because x coordinate is negative x coordinate okay x coordinate is negative so that only i'm using less than zero now we know say a a is what a less than zero less than a, this is minus so minus into minus plus by 2a less than zero since i'm writing a less than zero a less than zero in the sense a value negative here if you give negative negative into negative positive so that only i'm giving positive b by 2a okay now this divide 2a you can say an opposite divide 2a goes to opposite multiple with the zero zero into 2a zero now b value what we got it less than zero so therefore eh, the signs of a b c a we found already less than zero b already we found what is that eh? now only we got it less than zero and c now we got it greater than zero so that is that is the signs of a eh, a b c a is negative b is negative c is positive for eh, this first graph okay for this first graph likewise if you try the second graph in the same way you can try the second graph you will get the answer for this so that only it's very important because in 10th we have quadratic uh, is a uh, very important in the second or is that in the second uh, chapter it's one of the important role so please you can uh, try this one in your home if you have any doubt now just come in my video i will clarify you this is one of the very important in one mark definitely they will ask okay if you like this video share with your friends thank you thanks for watching this video subscribe for getting more videos and press the bell icon for getting notification